My name is Yasushi Matsuzawa, Kumamoto University and Yokohama City University, Japan. I'm awardee of Palmary Prize. I'm very happy that I could receive the Palmary Prize. I'd like to express my gratitude to Dr. Ogawa, Dr. Sugiyama, Dr. Kimura, and co-workers. I couldn't have achieved this splendid work without them. I also feel great thanks to my wife and son. I'd like to start my presentation now. The title is Digital Assessment of Endothelial Function and Ischemic Heart Disease in Women. Background. Non-obstructive coronary artery disease, NOCAD, is more frequently in women than men. The presence of myocardial ischemia in patients without obstructive coronary artery disease, CAD, was demonstrated to be a high-risk state. It's difficult to diagnose NOCAD. NOCAD have shown to be associated with coronary endothelial function, dysfunction. We used Endopart 2000 to assess endothelial function. By fingertip tonometry, hyperemia after ischemia was measured. The data was analyzed automatically by a personal computer. This slide shows practical measurements waveform. After five minutes equilibration, the cuff was inflated to 60 millimercury above the systolic blood pressure and then deflated to induce reactive hyperemia. Reactive hyperemia peripheral arterial tonometry RH path index was calculated using this equation. And path has several advantages, non-invasive, easy to use, automatic, reproducible, and no dependent, related to cardiovascular risk factors and could predict cardiovascular events. Improvement of endothelial dysfunction is important to reduce risk of cardiovascular disease. The purpose of this study was to assess the utility of digital RH path in predicting ischemic heart disease, IHD, including obstructive CAD and NOCAD in women. Methods. RFAT was measured before cardiac catheterization in 158 stable women scheduled for hospitalization to examine chest pain. RFAT studies were performed in the fasting state early morning after more than three days discontinuation of bath dilators. NOCAD was diagnosed by angiography with measurements of coronary blood flow CBF and cardiac lactate production during intracoronary acetylcholine provocation test and the cardiac scintigraphy with stress test. This slide shows the diagnosis flow chart. 68 patients had obstructive CAD. 72 patients were suspected NOCAD. 32 patients were diagnosed as epicardial coronary spasm. Six patients were diagnosed as microvascular spasm. 34 patients had negative results for acetylcholine provocation test. We examined the adenosine coronary flow reserve and stress thalamus scintigraphy. Four patients with abnormal results of these tests were diagnosed as microcirculatory insufficiency. Remaining 30 women were diagnosed as non-ischemic heart disease. We defined that Epicardial coronary spasm, microvascular spasm, and microcirculatory insufficiency were NOCAD. We call the IHD that includes both obstructive CAD and NOCAD. This table shows baseline clinical characteristics. I'm simply going to summarize this table by saying there was no significant difference between non IHD and NOCAD group, except family history of CAD. Regarding BNP, high sensitivity CRP, Raynaud's risk score, mild to moderate coronary stenosis, and all medications, there was no significant difference between non IHD and NOCAD group. I'd like to concentrate on these figures ARITPAT index and IHD in women. The median ARITPAT indexes of each group was 
2.2 of non-IHD group and 1.6 of obstructive CAD and NOCAD group. Surprisingly, IGPAT indexes were same level between obstructive CAD and NOCAD. We evaluated coronary endothelial function by measurements of acetylcholine induced coronary blood flow increase. Coronary endothelial function decreased in patients with NOCAD. Fingertip RHPAT well correlated with coronary endothelial function. Of particular importance, multiple logistic regression analysis revealed that Reynolds risk score and RHPAT index could identify the IHD independently. We used rock analysis to compare the prediction ability. Both Reynolds risk score and RHPAT index had good prediction ability in predicting obstructive CAD. Reynolds risk score was superior to RHPAT. Concerning overall IHD, RHPAT was superior was Reynolds risk score. Regarding NOCAD, only RHPAT could predict among women without obstructive CAD. In summary, endothelial function evaluated by RHPAT was significantly impaired in patients with NOCAD, and such impairments were equivalent to that seen in patients with obstructive CAD. Fingertip RHPAT index correlated significantly with coronary endothelial function, assessed by HH-induced CBF increase. Reynolds risk score and RHPAT index significantly predicted IHD. RHPAT was particularly superior in predicting NOCAD. Conclusion. Fingertip RHPAT could non-invasively predict the presence of IHD, especially NOCAD, prior to CAG. RHPAT is a potentially useful clinical test and can effectively identify high-risk patients in women with chest pain. That concludes my presentation. Thank you for your attention.